All right, here we go. This is a heroic run for silverware golem using rogue. That's um, purposely built to be as cheap as possible to try to beat him. And the plan, just like it was for my mage and warrior decks, that you could look up on the rest of our channel. Just to mill them and board clear every turn as best as possible. It's gonna be a bit harder with a rogue, only because we don't have as good of uh, spells or minions, class specific minions that are gonna be able to wipe out the board. I mean, Warriors got Raven and Ghoul, Mage's got Twilight Flamecaller, <laughs> we got this guy. And it's not exactly an early turn or a card that we can play frequently. Oh my god, you gotta be shitting me. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna take a hell of a lot of damage here. However, at least we get this board clear right now. That's ultimately what matters. The next thing we're gonna do, if this explosive sheep survives, we are going to get ourselves a gang up. We're gonna suit up right here. This can be really hard. Feeling punchy, you say? Well, <laughs> I can't even shadow strike him. Oh crap! This is this is gross. Normally, I want to save backstab for cups since they are such a lethal presence. But in this case, I really got no choice. Oh man! Oh, I lucked out. So I could, I could vanish, but I wouldn't get much out of that. He would certainly burn through some of his cards. Ah, uh, no, I don't think I want to do that. Kill this guy. I'm gonna heal myself up. That's what I'm gonna do. No, oh, okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so we, we seem to have <laughs> come to a standstill here. He can't do anything, I can't do anything. That's fine. However, I'm trying to see, would it be beneficial for me to vanish? He would take seven cards. Some of them are going to be burned, and the next draw is also going to be burned. But what do I follow that up with? No. I think it's best to do it this way, because at least in this scenario... Wow. This, <laughs> this has to be some kind of glitch. It looks like Civil War Golem is coming to a standstill. He's got no options left, so he's just gonna end up milling himself. Wow. That's interesting. Let's see how long this lasts for. This moment of peace. This grace period. Yeah, I'll probably wanna. Probably wanna stack up on more Earthen Ring Farseers. Huh. This is very interesting. <laughs> Did not expect this. <laughs> Let's see how far this goes. Yeah! Burn out your damn plate! Alright, let's see what's up.
this is very interesting. I can do this only because he's gonna instant summon two more plates, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> this has to be a bug of some sort. <laughs> this is great. Well, this is by far the easiest game I've ever played. No, what happened here? Why oh, are you getting hostile, man? I thought we had a. Uh oh. That one was an antique. I ruined the. Great period by playing unstable ghoul. Oh, could have gone on forever if had I not played it. What's okay, nice. Dark Iron Skulker's gonna do the job perfectly. Just for measure, in case they have a, a fork, was it that gives plates charge? I had like four or five cars that he milled through. Just cause we had a standstill there. We had a little moment of uh, peace, you know. No more beef, man. Yeah, I guess I could kill him. Sorry, this hasn't been much of a guide up until this point. I should have been explaining what I've been doing, but that that moment of I don't know what you would call it, where nothing was happening like that standstill just totally caught me off guard. I was unable to do anything. Behind okay. you. But, uh, if you've been following along, which I hope you have, despite the, the shenanigans that we witnessed, um, that only proves the point that either the AI gets bugged out and confused as hell, and that this deck is viable. It's enough to make it through. you definitely going to have to play it close, because you get pretty low HP, depending on what he decides to draw and play. But overall, oh man, what have I done? <laughs> but overall, you should be fine. Oh, I've created a monster mistake here. <laughs> There's no way I get to keep anything. I should not have played this additional tempo next round, but that's that's okay. I think we're fine. He's out of cards. So, despite some mishaps, it looks like we're gonna be alright. I think- oops, forgot to attack with the explosive sheet, but I think now we're at the point where we can start doing, um, face damage comfortably. He does have two refreshment vendors. I do remember that. Here we go.
Okay, so we can comfortably... Here we go. We can comfortably just take some damage from 1-1 one, one plates. Unless I get duped right now. Like he had an ace up his sleeves. He's gonna pull out a plate and a fork. I mean, a cup and a fork. Nope. I'm fine. Here we go. Yep. Pretty much one. There we go. Play the other one too, man. I we can do some HP. Okay. So again, sorry for not giving uh, good insight as to what you should be playing each turn, but I feel like it should be pretty straightforward that you play whatever is going to give you the best possible board clear. Even if some turns you can't take out the entire board on his side, doing enough damage, setting it up to wipe it out on the next turn is, is really all you need. And there we go, we won. Thanks for watching. There will not be a normal run using Rogue, because I feel like it's easy enough that plenty of people can beat it with any class or any other guides. But uh, please do stick around, um, subscribe, check out our other videos for other heroics. We also have videos for Overwatch, CSGO Ace, Street Fighter, a whole bunch of stuff, so be cool to check them out. Thanks for watching.